Hi, uh, this is uh, BD594, and I just uh, completed another project I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, what we have here is a uh, lunar lander, um, which is uh, built entirely with uh, paper clips. Um, at the top here, I have a um, SOMO, I think it's a 4D sound module, which I preloaded with a bunch of uh, NASA sound clips from. Um, from past uh, Apollo missions. Um, I think I got them from the NASA website. Not exactly sure on that. Um, at the bottom uh, here there is a 8 ohm speaker which uh, I guess represents the thruster. And um, just for show I got the body covered with uh, slow uh, strobing colored LEDs. Uh, everything is also mounted onto a small piece of plywood. Um, what you see on the plywood here is a photo of the moon uh, which I uh, printed onto a transparency and glued uh, to the surface of the wood. Um, there's also um, a lot of coats of varnish uh, to protect the wood and the transparency keep it from uh, peeling off. Um, let me power up the unit. Uh, initially, when you turn on the power, the um, LEDs uh, change colors at the same rate, but um, as time passes, uh, uh, they'll all drift out of sync, um, at uh, which time the colors appear to be more random. And to save time, I uh, pause the camera for about five minutes to allow uh, for the uh, LED LEDs to drift out of sync, and it uh, appears to be uh, more random. Um, let me give you some examples of the uh, audio clips. Uh, I think I have about 30 or 40 presets. Um, every time you hit the uh, button here, it just advances to the next um, sound clip. I'll just uh, go through them pretty quickly here, and I'll just stop on the uh, ones that people are familiar with. And uh, as you can see, we're right back at the beginning. And that's it. Um, let me see if I can give you a close up here. I don't know how steady I am, but um, that's it.